Good morning, welcome to the construction site on Tuesday. It's uh, after the long weekend, we had our Independence Day uh, on uh, Sunday and uh, Monday was a day off. So it's Tuesday now, the beginning of the week, work week. And as you can see, the guys have been going crazy on the house. They started to uh, put pins into the styrofoam to uh, hold it to the wall. Because not only do you glue the styrofoam, you then uh, screw it in, pin it in, maybe. Maybe that's the correct way to, do, to say it. So we've got a few things planned for today. First of all, uh, on Friday the, uh, the gas box came and the guys from the gas company are gonna come over and set it in place. The second thing, or maybe the thing that I will start out with, is I'm gonna grab my grinder and uh, cut out that piece of concrete that is sticking out away from the wall. It's been a big problem for the guys everywhere where the wall is not uh, plumb, straight or uh, like concrete is flowing out like over there. Uh, they have to spend a lot of time and uh, like uh, fit the styrofoam uh, into position so that it matches the curvature of the wall so and this is a big piece it's about three centimeters maybe two centimeters two and a half somewhere like that so i'm going to cut it off because that's really uh, and it's also concrete so it forms like a uh, thermal uh, rib or i don't know like a point of uh, thermal loss because the styrofoam will be thinner over there and the concrete it conducts heat better than bricks so it's like the worst point uh, in the thermal isolation and we're going to lose energy for there. So I'm going to cut it off so the styrofoam is full. So the styrofoam is full 15 centimeters in that spot. And of course the guys are going to come and continue on with this. So the pegs I've been talking about uh, over here. Let me just put this down. So those uh, pins I've been talking about, they go into the concrete, or they go into the styrofoam like this. And then there's a little, there's a little styrofoam cap that goes on top of it to uh, prevent it sticking out for the frost. And it looks like this. They just fill in this hole with some styrofoam. They come pre-cut into circles. So it's a system type thing. You can see over here, there's like a washer, plastic washer, and then a pin that you drive in. And, and this holds the this holds the styrofoam in place. I've got those pieces over here, we can take a look. So there's a whole box of these pieces. And they just, uh, the guys will drill a hole in the brick. They will put this in, right? And then you've got some of these. These are not open. You can see these shafts or plastic nails or whatever. They got a little uh, hooking on the end. So they go into this uh, end piece here and spread it apart. So that it holds in the wall. And this is, I guess, plastic also, some denser plastic. So it doesn't, so it's a denser plastic so it doesn't conduct uh, heat like it would if it would be a metal screw. So really fantastic and then a whole bunch of these styrofoam cut out circles pieces to fill the gap and these just go like this on top of that right so that way we got a good covering and the house is uh, nice and warm right yeah, and on the back over here the guys have finished all of this last week. So it's almost all done. So it looks fantastic like this. 
and I'll get some drone shots for you later today. So you can see how it all looks. The wall on the top of the mudroom still remains because of that piece I've got to cut out. And uh, yeah, it looks like the rest is done. So, so, so good. <laughs> Alright, let's go cut some concrete. guys so time for some cutting Bloody hell! Woo! So I've made these cuts so now I can chip them off easily with a hammer. I don't have a hammer like a SDS hammer drill. I should have one. It would be much, so much easier with like a chisel tip. But I don't have a chisel and a hand hammer. And also I can help myself with the grinder if something is a, if a piece is really stubborn. But uh, take a look over here. I did a hatch pattern. Over here is like flat, practically flat. You can see the gap in the styrofoam. It's pretty big, like uh, about an inch. And on this side, it's almost non existent. So the guys might still need to do some scratching on the back of the styrofoam over there. But it will be much better than it is now. You can see this is how much we're going to chip away these pieces. Yeah. This is my hand for scale. So this is a good uh, inch and a quarter or maybe even uh, four centimeters, inch and a half, I don't know, somewhere around that. We're gonna take that off. Yeah, the guys are still not here. Whew. The guys are still not here. It's around 10 o'clock now, but I have a long drive, so they'll probably get here soon. Alrighty, let's go get the hammer and the chisel. So these come off pretty easily. Much better. Yeah, close to the camera. Yeah. 
I think the grinding is the hard part in this. A couple taps with the hammer. Oh, you can see rebar over here. Yeah, it got pushed out, I guess. Oh well. That's how perfect the job is. The rebar is sticking out from the wall. Fantastic. Alright guys, and now it's just time to hammer away and then I'll come back with the grinder and just touch up these pieces that are sticking out too much. The grinder will just cut them off easily. So yeah, this is the way to remove the bulk of the material for me at least. And I wish I had an SDS hammer. Be like and everything will be done. So I'll catch you soon. A shower on the job site. Woo -wee. After all that dust, <laughs> after all that dust, it's exactly what I needed. I feel clean. <laughs> Before that, it's all covered with the white powder. Yeah, so uh, let's go take a look before the guys cover it up with some styrofoam. And uh, the guys are here, they're setting up. Uh, quick update on the gas. Uh, the guys are on a different job site today. They have some uh, urgent malfunction they need to attend to. They'll be here tomorrow to set up that box. Well, guys, so that's how it looks. We've cut off pretty big pieces of the wall, and now you can see it doesn't go off the edge so much. There's a pretty big gap on that side and this side it's uh, not that big but even if the guys have to cut up the styrofoam just a little bit it's much better than having it four centimeters in.
So the guys are uh, drilling, putting in the spikes, uh, foaming and putting in the cap. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. They on this side, they're, uh, they're using like a little scraper to even out everything. Over there. The guys are also uh, foaming in the gaps, like you can see over here. This has been foamed in and uh, scratched off already. But there's more gaps, like these tiny ones. They're going to foam this also, but if it's like very thin, like over here, that the or the right, this is a good example. If the gap is super thin like this, then they won't foam. It. But if it's like bigger. Then they will, uh, just because the foam wouldn't go inside this tiny gap. So some of them, there's no point. But if it's uh, bigger, then they will. And also on the bottom, where I had my blue XPS, the guys crush it up so that it will, uh, the glue will grab to it better. And they're putting up a layer of glue. They'll stick another layer of EPS on top of it. That will be five uh, centimeters thick this is 15 this one's 10 so around five some places it's six and we'll just go over here uh, to this level and this is where we're going to have the ground so we'll probably put some uh, like a drain uh, around the house uh, out of concrete blocks or something and uh, yeah and backfill up to that 